Hello everybody, Chuck here with another scrapping video. We're going to do an old vintage ITT telephone, rotary phone. Okay. Um, headset. These don't unplug, so we just got to cut them. Okay, number two, scrap wire. Here we have the actual phone cord. We'll just cut that here. Always cut the ends off, the plug ends. These contain gold pins inside. This one has four gold pins. I will save them. This is all my uh, phone ends here to be scrapped out on another day. Number two, insulated wire. Right, well, let's do the headset first. So put that right there. These unscrew. Here is your earphone, a piece of rubber that'll go in the trash. Uh, nothing really to that steel there. Housing is aluminum, but it's all riveted together, so this will just get thrown into shred steel. Okay. This will be speaker end, same deal, magnetic, some aluminum, not worth really taking apart, shred steel. This is all plastic, it's recycled into the plastic recycle bin. Check the ends, non-magnetic. These are gonna go in with the dirty brass. Here you have the two uh, wire ends here, connector ends. Plastic coating that'll go into the trash. Bigger screwdriver here. That's the one that was broken. Boy, come on now. Got to go with uh, this one and see if this fits. Plug that. Let's see if, the, if I can pop these out of here. Let's see, let's take. Take the screws out here. See if we get a hold of it. I'll have to scratch that and see if it's uh, aluminum or brass. So you take the file.
and they are brass. So these go with dirty brass. Uh, snip that in. Snip that in, dirty brass. want to be a bugger okay trash and insulated wire and recycle plastic because over there okay most of these have a This phone actually had a volume control knob right here. I'm gonna try not to make this video too long. So this got to come off. Should pop right off here. There we go. Plastic. Recycle. Here we have a little nut inside here. Let's see if we can get it with, with this. Oh, okay, that was pretty simple. Wasn't even tight. That's going to release the spring here. All right, that just goes in the shred steel. Recycle and recycle. Alrighty, what do we have here? Insulated wire and some tape that's trash. I think somebody was in here before because this is all loose. Piece of trash. Let's take these bells off here. Okay, this is what uh, the insides look like. I'm gonna take these off and we'll check to see if they're brass. We'll check these screws. I'm pretty sure the screws are not brass. These are pretty heavy, pretty heavy. Okay, screws are steel, and the bell housings are brass. 
two nice heavy chunks of brass. There you go, my brass bin. Uh, let's see. Here we just you know, take out screws. I think that is that piece that fell out is aluminum. Now you could probably sell some of these parts. Um, believe it or not, there's still collectors out there that collect these phones. We got some wire here, soldered on, so we just cut them off. Um, these are brass. So what we can do is, let's see here. piece of brass and let's get the pop these off here another piece of brass some junk plastic and we'll snip this one off junk plastic so this is coated brass that's coated brass and that's coated so this is the only one that's not so we got three pieces of dirty brass but you gotta cut that little piece of solder off of here and make this clean brass We got a nice piece of clean brass there now this can just go in the shred okay what else do we have on here that's worth taking apart looks like it's the little rotary part here and it looks like it's all yeah it's all riveted together, so not worth taking it apart. I, I see one aluminum gear right here. Other than that, I am pretty sure, yeah, it's all, the rest of it's all steel. So that's just going to go into shred. All right. Boy, some of these wires do not want to be cut. Okay. Let's uh, try to get this other stuff out of here. Get this piece of plastic out. So this is all recycled plastic. Let's see. See where we connect it. Alright, let's uh All 
right. It's a wire coating. All right. So these wires all have the little ends on them that I will snip off and put in the dirty brass. Let's pull all these out first and see what we have left. side here trying to stay in camera here all right so we have this little module here um, the little copper transformer here which I'll break that off uh, got two I think these are wrist resistors, some, some type here. Uh, I saved those things like all different ones. As you can see, and all different shapes, sizes. Some of these have precious metals in them. I will figure that out at a later date. Uh, these are probably all brass. So let's scratch one. And they are okay, so they'll get popped off. All right, so let's take some more of this apart here. It's pretty old when they use all flathead screws. Here we got like another uh, copper motor right here, a transformer. Um, snip these wire, couple wires off of here. Okay, one more in this one. Okay, still got to cut the ends off there. We'll get back to that piece. Let's uh, just finish taking this apart here. I do a lot of micro scrapping. Uh, this is micro scrapping where you just take everything apart. I'm gonna learn how to recover gold and silver. I'm not gonna be after palladium and, and things like that. All right, so we got a bunch of brass in here. We'll get to that in a second this wire out of here okay the rest of this is this all steel you know, a little spring right there and that's where the telephone went down made that connection um, yeah this is just gonna go shred steel all right so let's see here let's remove this wire here It's trash, trash, trash. I'm just sliding all these pieces off of these little plastic tubes here. And hold it all together. There we go. It just falls right apart. This is just going to be trash. They're like little uh, 
I believe this could be Bakerlite here because it is old and it is a plastic. It's a hard plastic. Um, it's probably a Bakerlite. So all this little bits, I'll just go in the regular trash here. So we have a bunch of clean brass here. You always check it, make sure. Yep, non-magnetic. It's all brass. Let's put all that in here. So this goes in my brass bin. We have all little brass ends, these big ends here. So cut the, cut the wire close to the brass, make it clean. All right, so that's, we got four pieces of those. Actually, we got a couple more here. Let's see. Four, five, six. Seven, so seven more good-sized pieces of brass. There we go, look at that eight, there's another piece here. So some more brass, another piece of bacon line, and I believe this is steel. Yep, steel picks up with the magnet. Okay, so we have all the ends here. These are all gonna be dirty brass, I think. So, piece of wire with brass. This kid just snip them all off here. This will all go in the dirty brass because it's um, probably nickel plated. No, it's it's considered dirty brass. But the, the nickel will be recovered in the recycling process. They use, you know, different types of acids and chemicals and whatever. I don't get into any of that stuff. Maybe someday down the road, I may uh, either build a furnace or buy one and melt brass and copper into little ingots and then sell them. You actually get more money for them if you do that. Because as you do that, you, um, you, you're actually cleaning the brass, brass and copper also. So, almost done, almost done. more here I think I got one more here no I found another one we hide okay uh, yep that's all of them number two insulated all this is number two insulated wire not much there, but it all adds up. I got like a 40 gallon bin that I throw my uh, insulated wire into. I already got one full. I have another one or two buckets or whatever full out in my shed. So I'm going to be cashing them in pretty soon. I'll probably get about a hundred bucks. So here's all the, the ends here, you know, dirty brass. Okay, what do we have here? Let's check this out. Let's see how this comes apart. We got a couple screws here. And that'll take off the copper spool. I see some more brass on here. Steel screw. Out here we got a bunch of steel, steel steel plates, 
spacers. Uh, let's see if I can unroll this real quick. Show you uh, what we have. Finding the ends of these is not too easy. Okay, so this is gonna be number two copper wire because it's got a coating on it, okay? I'll show you the difference here. This is number two. This is number one copper, okay? You see the color difference and everything? Okay, this is just household wiring, another hard solid wire. Well, you have this here, other wiring, which would be like extension cords, um, Christmas lights, things like that. Number two wire. Um, it's, it's actually number one, but for some reason, because it's such thin wire, they count that as number two. Why? I have no idea. But this will have to be taken off of here. A lot of times you can just snap off the ends and then just pull the spool of wire off there. But I'll do that later. And got another screw here. Let's see what we have. That is I don't think that's a uh, it could be aluminum. Yeah, it's a piece of aluminum with a little piece of copper going through the center of it. Uh, let's see if I can actually pop that out of here. Try to clean as much as I can. Okay, so there, clean aluminum. Put that there, that a little piece. And a little tiny piece of copper. And I'll just stick that in this bin with the little bits and pieces I got. All right, so that came out of there. All right, so get back to that piece. All right, looks like we got a chunk of, no, it is steel, but it's got like a thin layer of brass. Is that just a, yep. Yep. So as you can see, piece of brass on there. So we got a little piece of aluminum, some clean, actually, that's going to be, I think, a copper coated brass. Let's see here. Actually, that's copper. So that'll go in my copper collection bin. A little tiny piece of aluminum. And we have, I'm misplacing my magnet here. Okay, so one piece of copper. Get that piece of trash here, piece of tape. All right, so little piece of copper and the rest is steel. So that'll go in my steel collection. Here we got another piece of brass. Now I've done some other phones that had a lot more brass than than this phone. So, okay, a piece of clean brass and a piece of plastic recycle bin and a clean piece of aluminum. So that's it, really. Other than this piece here, the rest of this is that's steel, and I'll process that later. So that was a vintage uh, 
ITT uh, rotary telephone. That took 30 minutes. Obviously, I could cut that down probably to about 10, 15, uh, if I'm not videoing it and trying to be careful and stuff. So, um, thanks for watching, and I'll be back with some other uh, uh, DIY how-to scrapping videos. All right. Uh, see you guys later. Bye.